Failure in the way that you see it literally does not exist, okay? And I don't say this to be kind of like a, um, you know, mentally spiritual kind of guy, like, oh, motivational, whatever. I'm not that type of guy. Most of the stuff that I'm gonna, that I teach you on my channel and on my pages is gonna be very tactical, kind of strategic stuff that I know has worked for me in the past. Um, and the brain is something that I try to stay away from because it, it's not something that is the same for everybody, right? It's not in a vacuum where you can say, okay, this one thing that worked for this business is gonna work for this business. You know, I, I can't say that for a brain. Um, but failure as you know it um, doesn't exist. Because, and, and I say this with that kind of strategical, tactical approach in mind, because all your failure is like you've heard that it's just a, a chance to grow and a chance to move forward. Um, but no, like it literally isn't a thing unless you completely give up because of it. Okay. Uh, the concept of failure is just like, oh, this thing didn't work. You know, like, oh, we put this thing out there and it failed. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that it didn't work to the level that you wanted it to, but you still generated data from that. And oftentimes that data of what didn't work is better than data on what did work, right? Because oftentimes we don't know, oh, you know, why did this work? Well, we don't know. But if something doesn't work, we know most of the times exactly why it didn't, because we can find the bottleneck. If, if a process doesn't work, you find the bottleneck of where people got stopped up. If they clicked on your ads at the rates you wanted them to, they read your sales page at the rate that you wanted them to, right? And, but they didn't add to cart. Well, it's a pricing and offer problem. If they didn't click on your ads at the rate you wanted them to, it's an ads problem. Right? If they go through the entire process and don't add and they add to cart but they don't buy, well clearly it's just a problem of they're not in the right time, uh, uh, they're not in the right space to purchase it. So you just hit them with some retargeting ads, right? So each part of the process has synapses or breakpoints where you can say, oh, okay, they got stopped up right here. They did not jump this synapse, they did not make it through. Right? And so failure, the 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 reason failure doesn't exist is because it just tells you, oh, this thing isn't what you should be doing. You should be doing this instead. And it tells you how to optimize the system that you're putting things through. And this goes for everything, right? So um, I, I, there's a story that I, I heard this week um, about why AI will never take over. And it relates to this um, premise because failure is part of what makes us human. And we, we progress because we do fail, right? That's why we move forward is because we fail. Um, to completely take over, AI would have to move in complete perfection. Everything AI would have to do would be completely perfect because it would have to be undetected, right? So it would have to do everything completely undetected and completely perfect. But the problem is that it can't do that unless it learns what perfect is. And to learn what is perfect, it would have to fail, right? To, it has to learn what not to do in order to learn what to do. Meaning that, like, it has to fail, right? So, like, it won't know what's right and what's wrong if it doesn't fail. It just, it can't gather that information unless it does that, right? Because there is no precedent for taking over the world or whatever, right? So, the same thing goes for us when we're trying something new. Um, you must fail. Like, it's literally part of the game. Um, and, and knowing what doesn't work, like we've talked about, is what's going to move you forward. Like it's you, when you put something to market, you test it against what that what the market wants. Um, I when when I put something out there and I put something, you know, whether that's content or an ad or a sales page, whatever it is, um, it, people will tell me like, oh, I like this or I don't like this, but they don't just let, write a comment like sometimes they do. But oftentimes they'll tell me if they like it by purchasing what I'm putting out there or by getting on a call with me, right? I know that that thing works and that thing resonates with people because it's getting the end goal that I want it to. You know, but if I don't get that end goal, well then that's great, I know what didn't work and I know to avoid that in the future. You know, and I, as time goes on, I continually gather more data and more information on what doesn't work, which means the path to what does work is clearer every single time. Failure is fantastic. Failure is, is what you need, you need this. You need to learn to analyze the results though. Right? So you need to fail, but if you don't, if you fail without learning the results, yes, that is categorized as, as a bad thing, as a negative. And in that sense, yes, failure would be bad if you didn't analyze the results. Okay? So put it put something out there, figure out if your market likes it, 
Figure out what they respond to. Are they moving through and doing what you want them to do? Yes or no. It's as simple as that, right? And if they are, then great, it works. If they if they aren't, fantastic. You just got even closer to what doesn't work or, or to what does work, right? Because you can eliminate what does not work. So my advice to you, if you want to move forward and you want to grow your business, put things out to market, right? Put more out. Put more things out to the the medium that's going to test them for you. And if you fail, congratulations, because you are now one step closer to that system that's going to work perpetually, okay? If I try 10 different things that fail and I lose 10 grand every single time and now I'm down $100,000, but then on the 11th one, I finally have the process that works. That process can make me millions of dollars. And that's an investment that I'm willing to make and I have to make because nobody else is going to do that. And that's part of that failure thing. That's why the guys at the top are so far away from everybody else because they've done the work. They know what works. They know what what will fail, but nobody else wants to put in the time or the effort to see what's going to fail so that they can see what's going to generate them that exponential result down the road. Okay, so failure is good.